Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kayla and if you haven't already, please like this video, comment down below, subscribe and hit the bell notification bell to become a member of my penguin family. And this is uh, my experience at Warp Tour going there twice in one day. So I am going to show you also pictures off my iPad of a lot of photos. And if you want to know how my experience was back in 2015, keep on watching. So I'm bringing out my scrapbook because it has the concert tickets. I went, my first warp tour was in 2015 in Toronto in, on July 17th, Friday, July 17th, 2015. And that was in Toronto. And so that day I went with my mom and my friend Mackenzie at the time. She's still my friend to this day, but we're just not as super close like we used to be and so when I went there uh we were mostly seeing Black Veil Brides and like a lot of alternative emo bands Simple Plan wasn't there at that date so I'll get into that later so we go to Black we're walking around and we go to Black Veil Brides merch tent well actually we went to Say We Can Fly's merch tent first which is say we can fly is Braden Berry, which is this guy right here. And what happened was, is we were meeting him and we were talking to him and I bought uh, a flag, which actually I can show you. I bought, where is it? This flag Oh, oh, it's upside down. That's right. I bought this flag. I bought his CD, which I can actually show you guys too. I bought his CD and it was also, it's also signed. I took out three CDs because those are the three CDs that I got. So I got his CD, Between the Roses, and I had him sign it, and this is the inside. I got that CD. I also got a t-shirt. I got a bunch of posters, which are somewhere else in my room, and then I got uh, the flag, a t-shirt, which I lost some of these wristbands that say, say we can fly, and it has the little bird on it, and I bought like three black or like four black and two and like the same amount as white I had those and then we went to the Blackfield Brides uh, merch tent and after we were done hanging out with him taking pictures and everything we went to the Blackfield Brides merch tent it was also raining that day so it was like kind of bad and there was this girl actually behind us behind us who was talking and what happened was is she had a mohawk, which was rainbow, and she dyed it the night before with Manic Panic, and when it started pouring down rain, it just dripped on her, and I felt so bad. She was crying, and it was just, like, so sad to see that happen, and my mom spent half an hour looking for her car just to find our sweaters, and by the time she came back, we were just soaked, so we ended up uh, meeting Brayden, taking photos with him, and then we went to, I believe, the merch tent for Blackville Brides was first. And I got, uh, there I got a hat, snapback hat, two bracelets. I got two tank tops and a tour t-shirt. My brother is gaming again. And that was about it. And then I got, I gave them a, a drawing to give the Black Veil Brides. And then that was all I got. Then we went to... Juliet Sims's tent. Uh, we saw Blackfield Brides perform, and then we saw uh, Juliet Sims perform first, and then Blackfield Brides. And I ended up getting Juliet Sims's EP. It's kind of not really signed, but this is the back. 
has this in and then it has like a bunch of pictures of her with her fans I believe and you take the CD out CD is actually not that scratch and it has like just her with her fans and everything and it's just amazing And the songs that come on this are All or Not, and it's her EP, and it says, and it's the All or Nothing EP, and the songs that come on are All or Nothing, Mystified, and Vengeance, what is it? Um, Avenging, End of the World, which is my favorite because it has Andy Beersack in the video, and then Not Broken Yet, which is featured Andy Beersack, and then Before It Rains. And this EP was really good too. I really like both these CDs. And then we got, um, we went to the Pierce the Veil tent and it was really good. Uh, we were going to pay $5 for to meet Pierce the Veil and then some bitch butted me out of line and pushed me before I could even pay. So I ended up getting a t-shirt, which I can't show you because it's in my drawer. Same with all the other t-shirts, but those are some of the things that I got. I don't have the t-shirt anymore of Say We Can Fly. But the experience was really good. It was really amazing. Uh, we ended up uh, seeing Icon for Hire, Say We Can Fly, Juliet Sims, Blackfield Brides, Pierce the Veil, uh, Juliet Sims, and Asking Alexandria, and probably maybe a few more bands, but I can't remember. Uh, Icon for Hire was really good. She came on. They came on before... Say We Can Fly came on, and it was just really amazing. It's just really, really good. Um, we also ended up going, uh, we almost met Juliet Sims, but she twisted her ankle off stage, so I ended up picking her EP up. I didn't pick up a t-shirt. I should have, though. Uh, then the second time I went to Warp Tour was for july 24th 2015 and i only went because simple plan we're going but like after we were done at warp tour in toronto we went back to a hotel and then i think we went to hot topic the next day so it was a really good day even though it rained i met brayden i actually said hi to the lead singer from icon for hire she was at her merch table and i waved at her and i was gonna meet her but i didn't know if he had to have a wristband or anything because, like, some bands, you have to have a wristband in order to meet them. So then we went to the July 24th, 2015, and we were in a huge-ass line. And it was, like, super, 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 super hot out in Detroit. So when we were in Detroit, I was determined to go see and meet Simple Plan. So I wanted to go to their merch table first. So, when we got in there, I, like, we ran into Warp Tour. Me and my mom were just there. And, uh, my mom got in for free because when you were underage at Warp Tour, you could bring a parent in and they got in for free if you brought canned goods. You could also bring canned goods to get early access. So, we got early access. And so, we ended up, uh, going to Simple Plants Merch Tent and my mom told me to slow the F down because we're in Detroit and we couldn't even contact each other in Toronto my mom stayed in the parents tent so she could easily contact us through texting and everything but with my mom I just stayed with her and we went to the simple plan merch tent and I asked my mom if I could buy like two t-shirts and a sweatshirt and she said no just buy two t-shirts and a wristband which I have, which the other one broke, but this one I got off of Depop, and it's just a simple plan on it, and we we're talking to their merch table people about how much we love Simple Plan, how much they've been a fan, and we didn't notice that they had a signing up on the, like, whiteboard thing, so I'm like, oh, I didn't pay attention, so we're talking, and it was such a hot day, I kept getting touched by people that I didn't want to be touched by, and so I get a tap on my shoulder. I said, I swear to fucking God, who is ever touching me on the, touching me, I'm going to fucking punch them in the face. And Sebastian from Simple Plan, which is the guitarist slash backup vocals too, says, oh, you wouldn't punch a member in, uh, from Simple Plan in the face, would you? I whip my head around and I'm like, 
stuttering his name and he's like yes and I did the most girliest scream ever and he's like oh you burst my eardrum he goes I take it you're a fan I'm like oh my god yes I'm a huge huge simple plan fan we were talking to him about how long I've been a fan for my mom was explaining about like how when I was little I used to bring their album around and I used to uh they had to have them laminated because I was like obsessed with them and he's just like well it's good to meet a fan he goes he took a couple pictures with me which are uh right here he took this photo with me and then he took one with me and my mom but I can't show and then he mentioned that they were going to have a signing and meet and greet which you can meet the other members I'm like really and he's like yeah of course he goes you should come see and meet the rest of the guys because my mom was also telling him how I have a huge crush on David and uh then we ended up meeting Brayden again from Say We Can Fly and then we went to the merch tent for a simple plan and we were there and I met David and it was pretty funny because uh David when I met David Sebastian's like yeah this is the girl that has crush on you I'm like and he's like oh I heard you have a crush on me I'm like yeah okay and then when I was meeting uh Pierre I had like a panic attack because it was Pierre Bouvier so he hugged me and I said it was okay so I got this photo done with him and then I got this photo with Chuck right here this photo with Jeff and it was just like a really good experience oh that's falling and no we met the before we met simple plan we met the youtubers so I met Johnny Gilbert uh Damon Fizzy uh I don't have it on here but I met Jordan Sweeto Damon Fizzy Johnny Gilbert and Brian Stars. Brian Stars is actually really nice. And Damon was understanding because I was bawling my eyes out that because they they had for the YouTubers a huge ass line to the point where I probably wasn't going to meet them. But my mom shared my story about how they changed my life to this lady and I got to meet them. So I met them and then I rushed over to the Simple Plan merch tent, met them. And we were talking and when David was taking the photo with my mom, he had a whistle around his neck, so he put it in his mouth, and then he ends up blowing it. I'm like, do you mind? I'm like, that hurts my ears. He goes, oh, don't you know I blow it when I see a pretty girl? And I'm like, oh, my God. I ended up having heat stroke that day, so I went in the first aid tent. And I was determined because, like, to still, still see Simple Plan in concert because I've never seen them before. So I'm like, oh, we got to go to the, the – uh, what's it called the uh shark stage where simple plan are and they're like you're not going anywhere until you uh are feeling better you can't see simple plan I don't care who it is so I ended up feeling better and after simple plan we're done performing I got to hang out with David for like a little bit and I took this photo with my mom took that photo of us and I will actually show you I have a picture that I got of David which is pretty funny because he wasn't even paying attention. I got this photo, if it will load. I got this photo basically of them on stage. I zoomed in. Uh, my friend Desi that I met in line for Simple Plan took a lot of photos of them I got this photo I also got this photo of David with his base up in the air and then I took I got this photo done with Brayden that's just and then at Warp Tour 2015 Toronto Toronto me and Johnny me and Johnny me and Damon me and Jordan me and Brayden um there is a picture that should be on here of me and Brian Stars. Um, this was the photo of me and David. And then here's my mom with them. And then she took that photo with Jeff because they were laughing. And then that was on stage. I got this photo of David when he wasn't even paying attention. It was just like really funny and he asked if I took a picture. This is the photo that I have with Seb and my mom. 
that Sebastian took. This is the picture of Brian Stars, and then I have a video, if it will play. Of Sebastian saying hi to my brother Brandon. Can you say hi to my brother Brandon? Hey Brandon. Hey, and I had to uh what's called a uh, video video record. And because you know it was like that. And then I met D uh Danny Finn after they were done. And he was really sweet and cool too. No oh god, there's just so many. And then this is my mom again with David not paying attention. And David's just like got the whistle in his mouth. He was being a clown. But there were just like so many good photos and everything. This is Juliet Sims is on stage. Say we can fly on stage. Uh Black Veil Brides. Here's actually a picture of me meeting Johnny Gilbert. My mom took it. Then she took that of them. Then there's me taking a photo with Braid, uh, Brian. This is Black Veil Brides' this tour bus. If you zoom in, it says BVB, which I took that. Um, this is my mom with Chuck. And then Simple Plan. Um, this was the line for Simple Plan. Like, there was a huge lineup. It went from their merch tent all the way to maybe another stage. And they were determined to meet every single fan. Then, this was, um, Simple Plan's, uh, thing where it says 6.25 p.m. They're playing at the Shark Stage and their signing was at 3.30. No wristbands needed. And then this was for the YouTubers. This was for Say We Can Fly. And then this is David's sweat towel. He actually gave it to me. I actually got to hang out with David for like an hour and a half to like two hours. And then this is another photo of me and Danny Finn. But yeah, all my photos are on my iPad too because I like to have them. I believe there is a photo of Icon for Hire, but I can't think of it right now. This is Ashley Purdy with Jake when Ashley Purdy was part of BVB. That's when I seen them. Um, this is how, if she's on YouTube watching this, but this is how decked out people get for Warp Tour. Like, she had legit war paint on and everything. I'm like, Jesus, damn, you are a real real warp tour fan if you're dressing like that like I'm no no shame or whatever but it was like oh my god she's wearing like all black I'm like how can you do that on one of the hottest days of the summer too but yeah also Pierre took my phone so there's also this photo this photo this this photo three four five six And I was like, my mom took a bunch of photos of them. This was them on stage for, uh, from their professional photographer. And then this was what my mom took. And then Sebastian told her to get back to the back of the line. Get back to the line. Like, to the end of the line. And it was just really funny. But, yeah. Those were my Warped Tour experiences. I know it's over, but it was a really good experience but if you haven't already please like subscribe comment down below what you got for christmas in order to be entered in my giveaway all you have to do is be subscribed following me on social medias and also uh be following me on social medias and comment what you got for christmas comment what your favorite thing was comment if you've ever been to warp tour or to a concert comment also if yeah just comment whatever if you've been to a concert or if you really want to but thank you for watching for my subscriber day give giveaway it ends next week or whatever on the t or this week on the 20th or next week i don't know when it is but yeah thank you so much for watching have a great day bye